Hi, I'm Clay Allison from Wicked Edge. And what I've got here in this Generation 3 Pro Sharpener is a Spyderco Para 3 sent in by Rich from Arizona. And I'm just gonna real quick walk through the settings of what I, uh, of how I mounted the knife in the clamp and the settings for the angles and the finishes I used to get this edge. So uh, first thing I did is I evaluated uh, how the knife was ground, what angles the bevels were, and uh, what I found was that they were both ground at 16 and a half degrees. So that was pretty cool because the last knife I had from Rich was a paramilitary three, and that one had very asymmetrical bevels. One was 16 degrees and the other one was 20 degrees. So this one, um, 16 and a half on both sides, and I thought, well, since I sharpened the other knife at 16 degrees, I went ahead and reprofiled this one to 16 degrees per side as well, just to make it easier to remember for Rich or for me in the future if we're gonna resharpen those, what the settings were. Uh, so the settings in the clamp are pretty simple. I used uh, the top holes in the clamp here, and with the advanced alignment guide plugged in here, I aligned the tip of the blade to position D5, and that gave me a really good even bevel all the way down the length of the blade. So 16 degrees, D5, I worked it all the way from 400 grit up to 1500 grit with the diamond plates, and then I used some lapping films. I used a nine, six, and three micron lapping films, and then a four micron leather strop. So I got a great polish, looking really good. It was crazy sharp at that point, and uh, I wasn't sure if I wanted to leave it that way, but I, I really just feel pretty strongly that that super polished edge is, is great for shaving and slashing through paper and cool things like that, but it's not so great for tougher materials like rope or zip ties. So what I did was I put a 19 degree micro bevel on it. So I just, and that's really easy. I was here at 16 degrees and then I just moved the dial out to, to 19 degrees, lock it in place. And I did a couple of very, very light strokes with a thousand grit stones at 19 degrees. And I believe maybe if we zoom in here a little bit, we might be able to see the micro bevel here, but it's almost invisible to the naked eye. Uh, but it is just enough to give the edge a little bit of toothiness that makes it perform better for tougher materials when you're cutting. Um, now, it lost some of its just wicked crazy sharpness with that micro bevel. So then what I did is I went back to the 16 degrees and I used my four micron strops again. I needed about five whisper light strokes at, um, at the 16 degrees. And that did just enough to refine the bevel again so it's back to hair popping sharp, but it still feels toothy. So anyway, that's kind of a nutshell of what I did with this knife. 16 degrees per side. I used uh, the top holes and the position D5 on the advanced alignment guide. I worked it up through 1500 grit diamond stones then down through the lapping films to three microns, and then I use a four micron strop. Then I adjusted the angle out to 19 degrees. I did a micro bevel at a thousand grit with just a couple of very light strokes, back to 16 degrees and a couple of light strokes with the strop again. And it produced a wonderful and beautiful edge. And the whole process, including the reprofile from 16 and a half degrees down to 16, probably took me about five minutes. All right, thanks for watching. If you have questions on this knife or other knives, please shoot me an email at support at wickededgeusa.com and definitely check out our forum at knife.wickededgeusa.com. All right, thanks for watching.